Hi, let's look at our last question on the July 2022 series paper for the Diploma 3 in Building Civil and Architecture. So this is the shortest question I've ever done on areas and volumes, making it the easiest for you also. Let's go ahead and see the question. The question reads as, so that is that is question 7c. The following readings were taken through a survey of a small irregular plot of land. Calculate the area. So there we have a table and on top of the table we have been told to use the mid ordinate rule. Then we are giving the distances and the ordinates. The mid ordinate is equal to the width interval multiplied by the sum of the mid ordinates. The width intervals are seen on the difference in the distances between the ordinates. So the distance between the first ordinate and the second ordinate will give us the width interval. So there we'll have an interval of 20. Then we go ahead. Let's start by finding the mid ordinates from the ordinates on the table. And this is done by finding the mean of the two ordinates or in other terms by taking the two ordinates and dividing them by two. So there we'll have uh, our first ordinate as 18, our second ordinate as 21. So addition of those two and we'll find so we go ahead and find the mean so we are going to divide the addition of the two then we go ahead uh in our second so again our first ordinate there will be 21 plus 24 divided by 2 getting our answer the same will be applied to all the remaining ordinates after having done that We'll have gotten all our mid ordinates from the table as illustrated by me here on the video. After which we do the sum of all the total um, ordinates just like what we had there in our formula. And after which we multiply by the width interval of 20 meters. So the total, the sum of the mean will be 131 meter multiplied by 20 uh, width interval. And our, our answer will be 2620 meters squared. So, just like I said, that is the shortest question I think I will ever come across or I will ever explain uh, in this topic. So, the PDF is providing the link below. Feel free to answer any question. Uh, and you can write any comment there. Uh, whether the lesson was interesting to you. Thank you. That will be all.